Today we're gonna to talk about ice axes and ice tools and what we might bring with us on any given objective. What we might bring uh, would differ depending on conditions, firmness of the snow, and the severity of the climb that we may be doing. Starting over here on the left, we're looking at a classic mountaineering ice axe, you know, with an adze and a big pick, a nice big head here, longer, and a good spike that can go deep into the snow, uh, maybe some softer snow from some ski mountaineering maybe. The next one, we'll move over to a slightly more modern ice axe that's a little lighter weight, aluminum shaft, um, still nice and long for um, you know, powdery snow, lighter snow conditions, uh, an adds for chopping steps, uh, chopping into ice, just you know, sh generally uh, shoveling snow out of the way if need be. So here, these three ice axes are basically nearly the same tool, different lengths. Um, the pros and cons of each could be that the pro of these is that we're using them on snow conditions, uh, softer snow, a little less steep. As the angle steepens and the snow con conditions get firmer or maybe turn to ice, we're gonna want something a little more technical like these two tools over here. So moving on, we have a hybrid tool that's kind of a mix between a traditional ax and an ice climbing tool. And these are great because you can use them in many different conditions. I've used this tool a lot in the Sierra, um, just snow climbing and on vertical waterfall ice. Not as great on that, but it does work. You will notice on this tool that it has a hammer instead of an adz. These work great uh, for pounding in pitons or snow pickets, um, you know, or there's like an ice pillar that you need to get rid of. And it also helps in case your tool um, pops out of the ice, it's not gonna cut your face as much, maybe. Moving on, we have the Black Diamond Cobra Ice Tool. And this is a full-on, a technical ice climbing tool for vertical waterfall ice. You'll notice that it's very short, has a curved shaft, and also a grip rests here that holds your hand in so you can go leashless. We'll talk about that in a minute. So we'll notice the difference between the picks of these two tools, and this, that's this part right here. This has kind of a half moon shape, and this is what's called a reverse curve. And this helps penetrate the ice much better um, and gives us better grip on vertical waterfall ice. Whereas a pick like this is gonna work slightly better in snow and give us a little more purchase. It's also more comfortable in the hand as we hold it. You'll notice that none of these tools have wrist loops or leashes on them. Old school thinking was you never want to lose your ice axe um, and leashes work great for that. But now the thinking is when I'm traveling along, I'm always moving my axe from left to right hand, depending on how I'm traveling up the slope. And if every time I have to remove my wrist leash to do that, I'm gonna use up a lot of valuable time and speed is safety in the mountains. So we don't go with leashes anymore. Um, and just don't drop your ice axe. However, for multi-pitch ice climbing, it may be a good idea to use something like this. This is called a spinner leash from Black Diamond, and it's a tether that you can connect to your harness, clip in to your tool, and then if I drop it, it's still connected to me. And they work great because you can still move your hand from left to right. And if all else fails, you're not gonna lose your tool when you're three pitches up. However, they're not to be used for anchor or belaying purposes. Depending on the objective, my choice would be to go with one of these three tools. 
So I would use this for a lower angle snow climb, lightweight, maybe the approach to, you know, Bear Creek Spire. I would use this for something a little more technical, such as the U-notch, maybe somewhere where I might encounter a little bit of ice or firmer snow. And then finally, I'd move on to this tool for vertical waterfall ice climbing. All of these tools can add an element of safety and fun to your mountain endeavors. You'll find the one that works best for you, depending on your goals and objectives.